welcome to the first episode of 24-7 Grind. I'm Frankie Bones. And to I'm my right. Your girl Nina B. Remember me. That's it. And you can't forget her. I can't forget. I'm making it impossible. <laughs> We're making it happen tonight. It's all about you, the independent artists out there, the world at large. America. That needs, that's it. We need to uh, get the independent artists uh, the shine that they need. And that's what the show is all about. Uh, we want to learn a little bit about each person. Uh, we want to know where they're from, you know, what life has been, what inspires them. Most importantly, we give them a platform. And the platform is the most important thing. They need to be seen and heard. So backed up by the show that Nina and B and I are doing, is we're going to be launching a website. Actually, by this time, you, it, it's up and going. You can check it out. Yeah, www.247grind.tv. That's the place you want to be if you're an independent artist and you want to make it to the next level and get those good looks, exposure. So, Nina, let me ask you a question. Me? I'm the first artist? Oh. Well, you are an independent artist. Yes, I am. And um, I did see you perform live on stages. The first time I ever saw you, I saw you perform at SOBs. And you were out there doing your thing. It was a great performance. And you had your crew behind you with some oh, yeah. some signs, you know, some colorful signs up and stuff. And, I, and you know what? I didn't forget you. That whole remember me thing is... is it works. It, it does work. I'm like Yoda. Like, I brainwashed these people. And then I, I saw you doing, uh, um, you know, you were, you were a host. Uh, you still are with uh, Video City. Shout out to Doug and Video City and everybody out there that's doing something for the independent artists. Definitely. And, um, and you came and you covered a, a couple of our events and stuff like that. I got to meet you. I saw what you were doing. Always in the grind. I respect that. 24-7 grind. We don't sleep over here. No, we don't sleep. And um, the thing that intrigues me the most about you and watching the footage and, and, and seeing you out there is you're an independent artist, but you always show love for all the other independent artists. Yeah. I think like a lot of people try to wait till they reach a certain point before they start giving back. But you have to start every day. Give back. Reach back. Keep your community alive. Keep hope alive. Keep hip-hop alive. That's why we're here doing it with my boy. Background. We can't forget the legendary DJ Bilal. He's a very yeah, important yeah. part of the show. That's the man, the myth, the legend right there. Yes, indeed. How do you know this guy? How do I know Bilal? Yeah. You guys know I booked a party for somebody that was doing a book uh, a book signing. He wanted a book signing party. He wanted to do uh, something at a club on Long Island. So I knew the owner, and I set it up for him to do the party. He booked DJ Bilal. Somebody told me that the guy that Martin Lawrence portrays in the movie House Party, okay, the legendary DJ Bilal is spinning. So I had my Blackberry, mm -hmm. okay, and I had to go meet the, the legendary DJ Bilal. I'm like, I gotta meet this guy. He was real humble, he was nice, he was doing his thing, and I was getting some footage as he was in the booth. Yeah, I know. He doesn't like it when I blow him up like that, but this dude right here is a legend. They wrote that movie about him. House Party was written about the parties in his basement on Strong yeah. Island. And yeah. uh, he could teach the independent artist a whole lot. Yeah, I think that's so. Yes, indeed. So who we got up today, Frankie? Today on the show, uh, we have Corey Drums, okay, yeah. very Ike talented Boys. artist. He, uh, Ike Boys Ike are definitely Boys. in the building. Shout out to Brazil. We know you're out there. And um, we've got Mike Bees. Mike, Mike Bees. Mike Bees, another very talented be artist. This like us. This should be good. B-E-E-Z. All right. Yep. And uh, they're going to do their thing. I'm I know. Looking forward to it. We yeah. listen to the tracks. The tracks are hot. But there's nothing like a live performance. There is nothing like a live performance. So I'm looking forward to see if they can take the stage and own it. Because we give you the platform, but you got to own it. You know, on that note, so we had some very big news. I, I, I believe I shared that with you. Yesterday yeah. morning, we got some big news. And uh, when we were doing the show uh, live in the city of clubs and bars and lounges and stuff, we had a lot of fun. Okay? And uh, we had a contest. Shout out to WeBuildHits.com, Billy Dance, DR Period, and everybody else that was involved with the show. Um, and we had an artist come out from the Boogie Down Bronx. Fox. Fox 5. Okay. And he came out to win. Wow. We had a contest to, for him to get, uh, or the, the winning artist to be signed to a single deal or to go into the studio with a super yeah. producer and work on the track, which is a dream come true. I mean, DR Period produced a lot of hit so. singles. Uh -huh. Right? Yeah. Um... Well, he went into the studio. It's two years later, almost to the day, and we just got word that he was signed to DR's record label, Rock, Rock Boy Records. So congratulations. congratulations to Fox 5. I mean, you know, that is proof positive right there that, 
you know, if you you're, out, you're, right, you're out there on your grind, you know, a 24-7 grind, happen to get lucky that night and have Fox 5 show up and, and, and you know, because of his hard work. Connection. Right. Networking. You know, everything out there that's good for the unsigned artists, we're behind it. And it speaks to the unsigned artists, that commitment. Like, you have to actually totally be committed because two years later of effort is when he actually got to meet those, right. you know. And that footage course. will be available on the 247grind.tv. You'll be able to actually see him as he as he came back on the following episode. And the love that he showed, he said, it's not about me. This guy just won. He's going to the studio to super produce. He said, it's about all of us. It's about the un unsigned artists, about the independent artists. And he had his mom there. And he, and he gave his mom credit for giving him birth and so on. Just a, a humble dude, you know. He really deserves it. Again, congratulations to Fox 5. Yeah, we see Fox 5. That's it, you know. And every independent artist out there that's trying to make it, you know, that that's what it's all about. Because we're trying to make it too. Yeah, you know? I personally understand these struggles. I've absolutely any artist on the ground who stays committed, stays consistent, and who comes over that 24-7. Most likely. That's it. Now, we got some sponsors behind the show, and we got to show them a little love. So, at, uh, at this time, we're going to go pay some bills, and we'll be back after these messages. Yeah, 24-7 grind. Show them, Nina. Ha-cha-cha! Yo, I'll be the flirtatious one. What you doing? You tuning in. 24-7 grind.tv. I'll let you get folks. It's a 247grind.tv. I'm Frankie Bones. That's Nina B, the man behind me right here, DJ Bilal. We having fun, Nina? I mean, enough. 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 We're about to turn up, though. We got to turn it we, up. We are turning it up. Yeah, we got our first artist, the star. Okay? The star of the show tonight is one of them, Mike Bees, right here to my left. What's going on, yo, Mike? Say hello. Mike Bees. So, how you been, brother? I'm chilling. I'm how are you? I'm good, man. Right. You know, trying to make this happen for the independent artists. Yeah, I appreciate that. And you've been showing me love it's since the way, beginning. Of... Way, way back. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, you know? Where are you from? I'm from Harlem. Harlem, Harlem, Harlem World. Harlem World. Get hype, my dude. Get hype, ah! my dude. Uptown. <laughs> Uptown. How you feel about that Harlem Shake epidemic? I'm not, I'm you know, not, you're not going to no, participate. No, I cannot go sign. You can't go sign the Harlem Why Shake? Not? Yeah. It's not Harlem. Nah. The real one, yeah. The oh, real one? The original Harlem Shake. We can do that. They getting it's crazy new, with it? Flash mom it's stuff. It's almost disrespectful, but I'll just that's something totally different. We'll just, all right, I want to hear what Harlem has to say. <laughs> that's Make another sure show. Stuff, not know it. That's another show. So I know we were listening to the tracks before, and they're fired. I appreciate it. I don't know if they're ready for it. You think they're ready, Nina? Mm, they have to be. It's, they have, it's going down. That's it. So you better look out. Yeah, so tell me, man, what have you been up to? I haven't seen you in about a year and a half. Yeah, it's been a while. I've been working on a mixtape. Okay. It's coming out on the end of April. The Belly of the Bees, that's what it's called, about 12 tracks. The We're Belly of the Bees, the look of for the that. Bees. Look for that on iTunes, look on iTunes, I think that piff, reverb, and shit. What kind a 24 7 grind.tv. What kind of a name is that? What? You might have my name is Belly of the Bees. I'm like Bees. Everything I eat, pretty much. Oh, everything you eat. Uh -huh. everything. Everything. Yeah, you sometimes make... it's hard to figure that stuff out. Yeah, like you're gonna make references to food, was it? You, meant, you have to listen to oh, it. You have to, I'm not gonna, I am going I'm not to listen all to it. Belly of the bees. You gotta, you, that you gotta cop that. Right. Right. <laughs> How long you been rapping? Like, like five years. Five years. Oh, so you, yeah, I started playing instruments. What instruments did you play? Yeah. You play piano. Yeah, yeah. Now years. you do production as well. Do you do your own beats? Every once in a while. Actually, I came in with my beats. Franchise. Shout out to Franchise. Shout out to Franchise. Franchise in the building, real time studios. How do you feel about like the the game right now as far as underground artists? Do you think there should be more programs like this one? Do you feel this like is, it's I a don't hard know, show? any other show like this one, people giving you like, putting people on for real. 
Yeah. That's what we're trying you're to do. Grinding and you're grinding right along with us. So. Exactly. That's what it's about. Well, I know you impressed me. I've seen you on, on, on stage a few times. I see you on your grind. A little behind the scene thing. I, I had spoken to you once, and I think you said you were working with your dad. Right? What do you do with your dad? Well, he works for ACS, but I was stopping him around the house. We in Jersey. He was out in Jersey with his stepmother and stepfather. Family thing, yeah. right? Working side by side with that. So yeah, that 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 touched me right here yeah. because I was with my dad at the same time having lunch <laughs> at the diner. Too, yeah. You know, so that always makes me feel good. You know what I mean? The father son or father. Well, that makes me feel bad. I don't have a dad. Don't say that. Stop it. Stop it. You're gonna be all right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's a, it's a take my word for it. It's all about you. Right? How do you feel about your children? I don't have children. Your baby mom's fault. <laughs> How do you feel about the kids that listen to you? What do you want um, to like leave? What type of message do you send out to the to the young ones? Positive energy, whatever you do, just give it, give it your best, pretty much. You do. Does that translate to your music? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. I hope you agree. I would love to. Do you get well, a lot could, of support? I you do. I do. I'm not gonna say it's on my back because you know, I'm not there. You're still grinding up. That's why he's here. That's why he's here on a 24-7 grind. But today, I was eating pizza with my son. And he was listening to something on his on his iPad, his, his uh, iPhone, right? And uh, I said, Frankie, take the headphones out and listen to this. And I had him listen to uh, Mike B's track, Squash. And he's eating his pizza and he's listening. And he goes, this is fire! Just like that. So my 16-year-old son thinks you're high. You know, I, I think you're hot, but I sometimes question my own authority on what's yeah. hot or not. You know what I mean? Because no, I don't, I don't think I know the everything. Best of the best, so. You know, but so far I've been right. You know, you're sitting here. I'm a lot of artists, so I think you would know. I've got DJ Bilal here. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, you start to figure out what you like, but it's personal. Yeah. It's personal what you like. You know, it's, you might have 50 people that like you and 50 people that hate you. You know, I, I would I would address the haters right now, but I ain't got none. How do you deal with the haters? Songs for them. Oh, you do? Yeah, like, squash like, is actually for, for the haters. Squash. So, you haters might want to take a listen yeah. to that if you haven't heard it already. Squash on the Mike B's mixtape. Yeah, I can't wait to see him get up there and do his thing. I can't wait either. Man. Yeah, yeah I know. He's work. always got the belly of the bees going. Do you feel there's anything that separates you from all the other artists out here? Oh, I don't have any gimmicks. Support my survival. So you're just, you're just rolling dolo? Pretty much. Yeah. That's how There's a lot of us. I mean, they support me, but as far as rap, you, know, you do your thing. Like and he does his he's thing. A, he's, a, he's a free agent. A free agent. And I have a dad. I want to bring him to a show, but I want to see his action. I think you're going to get that laugh from me. I say random. You do? You yeah. say random? Shh. Random. Yeah, well, you know what? We need that. Cash catches. <laughs> <laughs> Secret messages. It's like, let me send a message to somebody. Yeah, I got at home. a lot of people. When I pull my ear, it means I love you, honey. <laughs> Lady Bones, I see you. So, is anybody back home watching that you want to send a special message to? I'm talking about on Facebook. That's about it. Oh, everybody yeah, FB, you do that. Yeah, I do that. On Facebook. What's your page like? Um, well, Twitter. I'm mostly on Twitter. Uh, it's my D's, I T S, my D Z. Twitter, Instagram. That'll all be right on the website, on a 247grind.tv, because also a part of you being here on the show tonight, mm -hmm. you know, besides the interview and the live performance and the photo shoot that you were here for already, okay? Yeah. You know, we're, we're going to try and make you look like a million dollars on a 247grind.tv. So you're going to have your own drop-down box with your bio, your pictures, your live interview, your live performance, two of your tracks streaming. So, you know, we're gonna want the love back by by you telling everybody so to come and check you out. Yeah, that's that's the best artists look. listening that's in, you can also have the same platform as what we're here for you. Yeah, that's what 24-7 grind is. For the, you know, Don't up stop. and coming artists. To me, the real grinding is when you shine, period. And that rhymes too. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna steal that. <laughs> so now we had a little surprise. You know, this this is growing. Like we were talking about how we we've got some sponsors on board and cross cross promoters. 
where we shout you out, you shout us out, we work together. Anything that's good for the independent artist is good for us, okay? So, as a part of being on the show today, we're giving Mike B's 10 tickets for him to open Mike up for B. Ron Mike Browse. B. All right, I'm not even here. Yeah. He's gonna, he's gonna open up for Ron Browse on Good Friday in a place that he's probably never performed before, in New Hyde Park, Dublin, the Dublin uh, uh, Bar and Grill over here. All it's right. gonna be a big show. Are you guys excited? So now, I'm excited. Again, this is all about making money, this business, you know? If you're just doing it for the love, we got respect for you. But if you wanna do it to make money, then you really gotta up your game. So a part of that is, you know, these tickets are a gift from our co-sponsors. And you're going to be able to take these and get your friends to show you some love and support, you know, and it's going to put 150 bucks in your pocket because there's 10 of them here for you. Three, four, five, six. Don't you want to be my yes. friend right about Nine, now? 10. So <laughs> shout out to Side by Side Entertainment for pushing up the independent unsigned artist. Here you go, brother. Good Friday, man. You're rocking on stage. Official sponsors of a 24-7 grind. TV. And... That's it. We are going to take it to the next level. And we're going to be taking this to TV. I mean, we already know that, but they, they, they need to know that. I mean, how excited are you about being uh, uh, involved in a sizzle reel and a television pilot in the first season of a television show? This is what it feels like when you make history. It's, 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 and you don't know it yet. It's like when Donna Summers first saw Michael Jackson on the street corner. Wow, that yeah. happened? That happened? I did not know. That's it. You know, and then she brought him to Barry Gordy. And that's... <laughs> what? You didn't know that? That's He's changing what? history, y'all. Huh? This is no, true. That's Motown. Am, am I wrong, DJ? Yeah, I need this. I need to be educated. Wrong. I think I know everything sometimes. Yeah. And I know well, nothing. we'll have to Google it and we'll have to come back. Yeah, if I get, get corrected, then I'll be corrected. <laughs> and I will humbly admit well, we that I was it wrong. On Wikipedia. But, you know, yeah, that's it. We can just change it on Wikipedia. <laughs> and then you can change it and I can change it. Before it. Whoever's got to change the last time before we come <laughs> back is right. You know what I mean? Because we can just Plus take I that snapshot of the picture. So uh, what else you going, got going on? But you know, what do you see yourself doing in five years from now? I'm trying to make a day. I don't know. We need to have a dinner somewhere far overseas. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, I'm invited. Years from now. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you belong. Like the whole staff. Yeah, yeah. Like you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? It's important to have goals and to have a dream and to vision something. So when I first started, you know, working with it, the music industry and independent artists and stuff like that. I never saw this happen. No. Kind of just kind of stepped into it. But once the, the the seed started to germinate, and I started putting water and fertilizer and giving it the right amount of sunlight, you know, uh, I saw it starting to grow, and I could see what it was going to grow to be. And and one day I saw it becoming fruitful. You know, not only fruitful in, in terms of us being taken care of and 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 making it to the next level as a show, but you know, having an unsigned artist. One day on the red carpet, getting his Grammy, saying shout out to Nina B, shout out to Frankie Bones, shout out to DJ Bilal, you know what I mean? From the Grammys. Make sure you bust on Joan Rivers for me. Oh no. All right? She needs a recycle t shirt. Oh my God. Yo, homegirl's plastic. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah, Frank, homegirl is jokes. plastic. No heads up. No, no heads up. <laughs> We're keeping it moving. So, uh,. Yeah, man. So, it, that, yeah, that's what it's all about, and it feels good to be a part of it. You got anything else for I would like, to, like, I see, I meet these artists all the time, like, every day. I want to hear something, something, like, give us something, like, leave us with something from, like, these. Yeah, why not? Oh, yeah. Wow, so look at that. So, Kick a little freestyle? Did you do that? Yeah, right here. He says, they, that was smooth. <laughs> that was smooth. <laughs> All right, quiet on the set. Mike B's. Hey, yo, it's time to do the thing, y'all. B's, say my name, y'all. Hound and I bust riders down like the gray dog. Gas him. Mm. Adolf, shots like his paintball. COD stealth mode, gears of war, chainsaw. I'm finna blow like I stepped on a claymore. I got what's like a you no know, Nate doll. And Luda, I ain't usually the stupid. I'm a musical molester here beating, I abuse it. Hang it up, brother. Noose it. You not signed. That question is a nuisance. Get them for their money. Let them keep their two cents. Haul them all day. Little shake, little two step. Nice. That's what it is. That's <laughs> what's up. Real cool. <laughs> yeah, smooth, man. It's like effortless, my man. Right here, like peace. How about you, Bilal? You got something for Mike? 
Want to drop some jewels on them? Uh, I could do anything you just did now. <laughs> check it, Love check you. it. All right, so you got, you got flows, you got the confidence. Do you have the stage presence? Uh, we're going to see that. We're going to see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've seen that. We've seen that. And we've so seen that. You know, we, we, we know all the world. So I gotta ask Mike. That's Bees what it's this. all about. I need to ask Bees, Mike Bees this. I always ask unsigned up and kind of, I never say unsigned because to me uh, unsigned is not unsigned. Because the science behind that is if you grind it, you don't need to be signed. Because the music business, they ain't signing nobody in. Anyway. What I mean by that is there's a lot of garbage out. And I will say it, there's a lot of garbage out. Y'all know it's a lot of Well, you know what? It's Sunday. Melody. It's Sunday. So. Okay, we take it out the garbage. Oh. The cats that's really on the grind, like yourself, keep on the grind. But I always ask, who did you come up listening to? I was a big fan of Pac. Pac was a Oh. I mean, who, who wasn't a fan of Pac and Billy? Yeah, that's the standard. That, that's the standard. You know what I mean? The, the greatest. You know? Absolutely. Like Two of them. So that's it, man. Uh, I think at this point in time, we're gonna go and pay some more bills. You wanna say hello to everybody out there in television land? How about you, Mikey Bees? You got anything to say before we go to commercial? You happy? You having fun? Out of my mom, my people. I was looking, what up? That's it. You already know. And uh, with that, we're gonna pay some bills, so we'll be right back after these messages, and we're going right to Mike Bees live, on stage, doing what he does. This. What's good? It's your man Mike B's coming to you from a 24-7 grind.tv. Bilal, let's do this. Here we go. <coughs> Gotta get my name. Gotta get money. Yeah, yeah. Oh, gotta get money. Yeah, yeah. Gotta get money. Get money. Big business. Real nigga shit, you gotta fuck with this. Get money. Big business. Real nigga shit, you gotta fuck with this. Get money. Yeah, yeah. With it, Cali so damn raw, I taste khakis and chucks in it. Huh? It's big business, yes. and I'm the shiznit. I get that workout, Planet Fitness, pack it like Swiss Miss. I get breaded like some Bisquick. I get hiving, I get pimping, I get flying, I get bitches. Yeah, it's everyday shit. Yes. Life is a vacation. Yes. Work is on the ground, keep it moving like I'm Haitian. Oh. Filet she oh, I'm on it. Rebounds, I'm feeling like Sean White. I'm moving HPs now. Huh? Gotta get money, St. Patty's the green child. The Maddie will rat a tatty and splatty your spleen. Wow. Say what I want, cause I'm G'd up. Break it down, but I'm leaving paid. Prenum. Sicker than he, nah, he is gonna re up. Burning leftover bread right after I re up. Get money, big business. Real nigga shit, you gotta fuck with this. Get money, big business. Real nigga shit, you gotta fuck with this. Get money, yeah, yeah. No, you gotta fuck with this. Get money, yeah, yeah. You gotta fuck with this. When I hustle on the truth, true. What you wanna do? Whole P is 41, half a P is 22. After me, there will be nothing. Little easy, what it do? No, after me, there is an oven, so I'm speaking like a Jew. I go in, yes. that is what I do. My team makes moves, and I feel like I'm a loo. Oh, so much bread again, I feel like I'm a low. Phony, tell it how it is, like I'm speaking under O. Yes. Take the Jacob, Sweat. game locked tighter than a nigga shape up. I'm feeling on top, something like a tater. Huh? Huh? And I gotta get money, gotta get 
paid. I'm hustling hard, dog. These brothers who need work, I do it like job for. I'm balling in all black, I'm looking like mine do. Diamonds like scrappy soldier and Han Su. Get money, big business. Real nigga shit, you gotta fuck. Bars, bars, bars. Squad. Haters all they know. It's all they know. Squad. Haters all they know. I'm sick with no prescription. This a little song dedicated to competition. This a little song dedicated to competition. To competition. To competition. Haters all they know. Conveying by the flow. Can't see it like Stevie and Suave. We go talking only bullshit. I ain't really me, though. Copy like Jigga. No copy like King Rose. I'm rocking these beef hands. Crack eggs. You leak it out. You try to wrestle. I'll raise your cheek. Old and barge into your farm. A wolf in sheep's clothing Give and go if they know I'm d Rose. Then yeah. fuck it, porno uh. Bucket like Brandon Got arms like Goro Box them, DiGiorno Wedgie is long johns And I Jean Claude them yes. Run it like forest yes. Sun is like August Hot like a furnace Igniting a whole forest My lines are so crack I'm drizzy, so worn Sleep you might snore I creep TLC Do dirt for a price or Break in when the light's off Squash all my competition Rappers acting seven They don't ever wanna listen All my Richie Rich shit I be chilling out with women Hardly ever say the P word Cause the P word stands for bitches Squash All my niggas know this Raid the studio and kill a beat I'm on some gross shit Fucking kill them all now I am Mr. Ocean Heat them like Bosh Feet is like Squash these rappers, bars I eat after uh, Caking off of clothes, call that Socrates batter Ray J's homie, sing that I smashed her Mac to her face, it's time for an eye chat I yeah. Mac her eraser, pencil in splatter Punches as fire, into the dragon Out to the dock, er, nigga, you slacking Bully like Sammy, yeah. diamond like Jackson uh, Call me Dr. Doom and I do him like Mike Jackson <laughs> Stunning like you rich, I'm Obama and I'm taxing yeah. Yeah. Funk flex, I'm the bomb, I whack shit Trail into your house, Oregon, take rations Bars. Take life, turn them go St. Patrick Bars. I want more, die hard, blame Ashton Then get my roll on, two and a half men uh, It's off topic, but fuck it, I'm gonna squash it Squash, yeah. all my competition Rappers acting seven, they don't ever wanna listen All my Richie Rich shit, I be chilling out with women Hardly ever say the B word, cause the B word stands for bitches Squash. All my niggas know this Raid the studio and kill a beat I'm on some real shit Fuck it, kill them all now I am Mr. Ocean Eat them like gosh Feet well, is like squash We stomping out beats huh? Writing for these biters When I find them, take my flow back Then I'm punching out teeth Word. Ripping off tongues Ugh. Now you can't speak Chopping off hands like it's Taliban weak But it's back to the basics That planet of the ape shit That G shit like Mason's And telling, yes, I'm training Call Elliot, I rape shit, sold out, hey man, African do my rain dance, I do get like my name can, what the fuck am I thinking, baby I kill it like I'm crazy, bad girl, good girl, bitch act like she is monkey, shit I said bitch I'm slipping, no disrespect to women, what I just meant was ladies, I'm a baby of the ages, wait, squash, yeah, I said it, you don't get it, whatever, remember the shit catchy, props. Started as a joke song, moralist, spit fire when you get your get roll, get you, get you do it like, oh, white boy flow, this a pure hit, bro, ba 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 it's a 24-7 grind. It don't stop. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm impressed. I, so I, I mean, you know what? I'm not really surprised. Because surprised. There's, there's so much. I expect everybody to be whack. So you, you got to show me opposite. Yes. <laughs> Everybody's whack. So you show me opposite. Uh, okay. Well, it's showing proof. I, I, I follow that. I follow that. Right. But the moral of the story is, you know, we're out there trying to find the best. And we'll make it happen. And there's people out there. They deserve they do. Seen. They are better than the whack ass shit that's on the. No, Excuse we my got language. them. It's like we're fine. We gotta get the, the boop on that one. We need a boop, okay? But you know, we we we're sick of the same stuff on the radio all day long, and that's what this show is all about. Is give it some shine to the people that 
that that don't get any shine because yeah. they don't have five stacks, ten stacks exactly. to throw at a DJ. I was about to say. Okay, um, you know they don't want to let us in the front door. We're kicking down the back door. We're coming through the window, but we're coming, and you better bet on that. Down the chimney. That's it, like Santa Claus. That's what's up. I'm gonna eat your cookies. <laughs> and next, sink your milk. We got here with us today, <laughs> starring on the 24/7 grind. Star. My man, Corey Drums. What's up, Drums? Ike right, boy right, in the right. building. Ike boy, they said I'm Ike girl, so I'm Ike. Yeah, 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 yeah. Already, <laughs> already. Right, right. What does that mean to be an Ike boy? What it means to be an Ike boy, it means you were like a, 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 a soldier in the street, but you're not, you're not, you're not the soldier like the military or nothing like that. You more like Conan. We, we, we go at this hand to hand. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. I'm Ike boy. Salute. Salute. <laughs> Salute. That's Italian. How do you like that? Yeah, He's I, an official cuisine. Yeah, yeah, I did. yeah. I gave him the old sh 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 and that's Already. it. He's in. I've been blessed. He can eat pizza with me. She ate pizza I, with I me. Eat pizza. That's it. Awesome. We went to Brooklyn. Right. <laughs> so where are you from? I'm from Hollis, Queens, New York. Atlanta, Queens. Run DMC. Yeah. Yeah. Queens is where all, like, a lot of brilliant masterminds of music actually came from Queens. I yeah. got a lot of respect for Queens. No doubt, no doubt. Who are some of the people that influenced you? I My first influence was my parents. My moms and my pops was in the music, so I was like a little kid growing up around piano, you know what I mean? And writing and all of that, so it was, that was the first thing. And then growing up in Hollis, of course, you know, Run DMC, LL, I mean, Hit it, Ron! People don't even know James Brown is, was, was from Indeed, my, my indeed. Child, Only you would know. Because I'm from South Jamaica, so I, I know that. A lot of people don't know that. Ella Fitzgerald, like my side of my side of Queens, back in like the 60s and 50s, they called it the Black Beverly Hills. Yes, you know, indeed. That's what that's what it was. All the black, States. all of the black <laughs> musicians and black stars lived in either Hollis, St. Albans, Jamaica, or something like that. So that's really where our roots came from with the music. A lot of people don't realize that though. Oh, I'm oh. glad they got to learn that today. Oh, so one more I... thing too. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar used to live right around the corner from me, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got Omar. I still got a lot of yeah. popular people in 20. Yeah. I'm learning. I'm learning. I know everybody out there is learning. And that's what it's about, is trying to learn more, not only about where you're from, but you as a person. Yeah. And I'm, I'm sure you guys will agree with me. It's important. I'm not sure. I hope you guys will agree with me, because I think I know everything. But, uh, you know, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> right. it, in order to, in order to, to reach fans and build up a following, which this guy right here is heavy on his grind. Okay, he, many times he has killed my phone with notifications coming up. Already. Okay? He's all over my stuff, he's all over his stuff, he's cross promoting with people, he's showing love, he's definitely on his move. But, you know, doing my physical. he is on doing his, my he is doing, doing his, my numbers. He is doing his thing. All right, good. You know, but, um, you know, when it comes down to it, you, you people have to know something more about you as a person to yeah. really love you. With media how it is, personality is everything. You mm -hmm. know, we don't know when you get up, when you tweet, talk to us. Like, we right. want to know everything. Right. We want right. in your life. You know, that's what makes somebody camp out in the snow, and I said this before, for two days to get the tickets and sleeping bags outside the tent, outside of Nassau Coliseum or wherever the venue is, trying to get the tickets because they love you so much. Right. You know, you can have the hottest song in the world, Chicken Noodle Soup comes to mind, and then you don't hear nothing from them again for four or five years. Because mm -hmm. they didn't work on building up a fan base and, and getting connecting That's with point. them. Right. When they want to to be like you, we they want, want to know you. more about you. Right, right, right. And we're hoping that they're going to want to know more about you and go out and try and seek that that information about what is this Ike Boy thing? What who is Corey Drum? That's yeah. a real fan base. That's the people that follow you throughout your career. Well, you know, you know, that, you know that business don't let you do that. We and Corey know what I'm talking about. That mm. business don't let you do that. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, how do you feel about the game right now? Um. I look at it in two ways. First way, I think it's kind of like destroying an art form with with the with the way that they're letting these artists come out and just just manipulate the way this whole hip hop thing is this, what what this hip hop thing is about. But it's like a double edged sword because on one end it's a it's a benefit to the artist number one because before the, the labels had all the control, you couldn't really get out there and market yourself. It was real hard. So now that you got the internet and this whole digital wave, that you could do it yourself. But at the same time, you can't, like, it's giving everybody, anybody, everybody in grandmother's a rapper now. Mm -hmm. 
Everybody sounds like Two Chains, Little Wayne, oh, or something oh. like that. You know, I'm, I'm dropping an album now. Did I tell you I'm dropping yeah, an album? Yeah, yeah, I heard, man. <laughs> I heard, and you got you got Two Chains and Future on the hook. Yeah. No. Yeah, man. I got Corey drums and Mike Beers on. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's it. You know what I mean? I'm not on the mixtape. I quit. On the mixtape? This, this is horrible. Yeah. On the mixtape? You got your own single. Well, I can't be on the mixtape too as a family. I was trying to get on. You wouldn't even let me on the joint. I'm not on the joint. All right. Yeah. Nah, but for real, on, on the real though, no disrespect to the other artists that's out there right now that's yeah. getting their money. I ain't got no problem with y'all getting your money. But when I come in, your money stops. That's the end of it. The Ice Boys is not playing that no more. You're not gonna just keep raping this game and having these kids and these new people that's coming and listening to our music and our culture thinking that that's what it's about. That's not what it's about. And I'm gonna show the rest of the world what it really is about. Because there's a lot of people sitting there waiting. There's a whole market out there that, that people aren't catering to at all. You know what I mean? Like people like me that listen to hip hop for, I'm not really a hip hop purist at all. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not really with the, I'm mean, just boom bap, break dancing and all that. But I'm not really into, I mean, I'm not really into the trap music. I'm not really into the molly pop and stuff. It's cool when you go to the club and all of that, but to turn on the radio every 15 minutes and you're hearing the same three, four artists is ridiculous. There's it's room for obvious. everybody. They don't want to share their spins. You know, that, but that's, that's right. That's they don't what have this to is share. about. They don't have to share them. I'm going to take them. This is, that's what this is about. 70s baby. Ike boy. Salute. A 24-7 Grind.TV is that platform. Frankie yeah. Bones and Nina B are going to make sure, along with the DJ Bilal and the, the crew here at Real Time, we're mm -hmm. going to make it happen. Most you know definitely. what I mean? We're going to make sure they know who you are and that you get hurt. And not just you, everybody else who's really on their grind and is looking to make it happen. Because like I said before, not just anybody's going to get on the show. Right. You know what I mean? You got to have your picks. You got to have a bio. You got to have MP3s. You got to be prepared to, you know, you know, if you don't, by the time you get done being on the show, you're going to have that good look. You're going to actually be able to send something to somebody where they don't say, oh my God, more YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just... Uh, you know, it, you can you can watch somebody's YouTube video and and listen to their music and everything else like that. But it's not really what an executive, a corporate executive in, in a major label is going to look at and determine. They want a full package. Right. But like you said, if you never get signed, there's plenty of ways to make money if you're on a 24-7 grind. Most definitely. Most you know? definitely. If you're grinding all day and all night and you want to make it in this business and make money from doing it, you can. You just have to push a little bit harder. And again... You know, that's what we're aiming to do here. That's our goal. Right. What are some of the challenges you face coming up as an independent artist? Um, huh, some of them? It's a, whole, it's a whole lot of them. Well, last three, I don't know. Uh, well, number one, you got, you got the, uh, the monster called the industry smothering. You know what I mean? It's hard to really get the shine you're supposed to get because they got money. So they can spend a million dollars on promotion and like marketing budgets. You know what I mean? A dude like me, I don't have a million dollars. I, mean, I gotta go hustle. Tell my people go hustle. How we can get that money up? You know what I mean? So that's that's financially is is really really challenging. Um, another like another part is the exposure. Like a lot of a lot of DJs are out. They, they only want to listen to or they only want to, to service music from notable artists that are out already that they've heard big things from and all of that so they're not really out there breaking music anymore i mean there's, nah, there's nah, still, there's still a few that. of them being no, a dj a that's a segue to me mm -hmm. being a dj the problem with that is the, our audiences have been programmed right have been mm -hmm. reprogrammed i used to break records mm -hmm. as soon as i played something or kick the pre or this one or that one played something it was hot when we played it. But now our audience is saying, Quick drums? I don't know who that is. It's not on Hot 97. I ain't heard it five, six, seven, eight right. times. They messed up, they brainwashed. Right. So they brainwashed. Mm -hmm. So it's Snap hard. out of it. It's hard as a DJ to break an artist only because of one thing. We only make money if that crowd rocks. Right. Supply and demand thing. And especially if you're in like commercial radio and you, you're stuck with their playlist. You're there not you even go. DJing. You're just going to sit and talk. Well, if you, like, you got some DJs, they still trying to earn their chops. They got to go yeah. with the program. Yo, shout out to all the DJs you know, that I know out there. Spinderella. You want to uh, put people uh, on, but you can't. Uh, you have a choice. 
I mean, I know so many DJs build. is crazy. So shout out to all the DJs. I love y'all, man. Keep spinning that Ike Boy music. I know y'all spin it when y'all get it, because y'all got love for your boy. You know what I'm saying? Listen to some other people's music as well. Maybe it's, y'all gonna discover somebody new, man. It's, this is a new LL. It's Stop a being new, scared. It's a new Jay-Z. Born every day, but y'all missing them. That's it. And you know what? If you want to check them out, like my man right here, Corey Drums and Ike Boy, you can just go on to a 247grind.tv and there'll be a drop down box for Corey Drums with all his links to all his music and everything else that you need to know in order to find out more about this man right here. And I can tell you something right now when you really get to know him, and I know him pretty well, he's a great guy. Hi. He's I mean, you've been doing this for how long? See, it's up there on the, um, on the screen right now. <laughs> I've been doing this for just about as long as most of these dudes that's out there rapping today have been alive. So, let's leave it at that one. I could be your mother's favorite artist, how I felt oh your boy, God. early. <laughs> <laughs> so, what separates you from everybody else? Um, so many artists. What separates me is, number one, my emotion, my passion for this. I'm an emotional artist. I'm not just somebody that's going to write around just because it sounds good. And just use words just because it sounds good. I want to give people a piece of me. And I really want to give you a visual piece of me. So when you listen to me, I want you to envision what's going on. So a lot of artists right now, a lot of rappers aren't really visual. They no. just they just use words. A lot of little catchy metaphors and stuff like that make you say, oh, that was, that was cool. But nobody gives you a story. Nobody gives you a, a, a real outline that says, if you close your eyes and listen to most of these yeah, records, you, yeah, I, I'm taking you there. You with me, no matter what. I mean, wherever I go, whether it's a story rhyme, whether it's a, it's a, a, a freestyle or something like that, just some, something you be boasting, somehow I'm painting a picture in your head and you're walking with me. You could actually see it. So my songs are mostly like, I don't really need a treatment for videos. Just listen to the song. The song will make the video for you. And that's really what makes me different. And you know what, that's that's true. Now that I'm sitting here listening to him and everything, it's like after getting to know him and talking to him just a little a while, it wasn't just like he was just an artist that came to be on the show and then he bounced and then you don't hear from him again until you start putting up promo. I mean, he would reach out and be like, yo, Frankie Bones, I see you doing your thing. And I would reach out to him too and say, yo, Coey Drums, what's going on, man? I see you, you seem like you're a little upset today on a, on a post or something <laughs> like that. You know what I mean? And then, and then, you know, he answers the phone. He's like, yo, Frankie Bones, what's up? So, I mean, you know, I really have developed a, a relationship and that's what it's about. You know, it's about Network. the people out there in the world building a relationship with you through Working multimedia, through this show, through the radio, and, and, and everything else that the future holds for you. And I, and I definitely wish you the best. Most definitely. You know what I mean? You deserve it. And the independent artists, including Nina B right here, yeah, I know we the all desire, you know, they all deserve to get that shine. And that's, and that's what we're going to make it happen. I mean, we've got a strong cast of characters and people that are working along, alongside with us, you know, to make this happen. And, uh, you know, I'm really excited about it. And I know he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna blow your mind on Are stage. You? Yeah, but of course. That's what I do. I do that for a living. Yo, what if we got some future Ike boys and Ike girls out there? What do, what do you wanna say to them? What I wanna say to all the future Ike boys and Ike girls out there is number one, stick to your dreams, man. Bottom line. No matter what it is, you wanna be a fireman, you wanna be a garbage man. I tell my kids this. You wanna be a garbage man. That's your goal, that's your dream in life. Then be the best garbage man you could be. I'm not gonna say that you can't do it. You got too many people telling, telling the youth coming up, don't pursue your dream, it's too hard. You know what I mean? It's only, it's only hard because that's how it is. Anything you want is gonna be hard. It's hard to work a regular nine to five, man. Yeah. I think, me personally, I think that's the hardest that's thing in the planet because it ain't something I wanna do. I don't wanna work for this dude. <laughs> I wanna work for myself. Everybody wanna work for themselves. So take that initiative, bust your, bust your you know. Tailbone. Make it happen, man. Do what it is, man. No matter how long it takes, don't stop. Because if, if the day that you stop is the day that you would have made it. Mm. Amen. You're to never that. gonna get that opportunity. Well, you'll quick. never know because you stopped. That's it. You know. Salute, guys, boy. We're gonna come back in a few minutes, and this man right here is gonna amaze you. You're gonna say, "Where has he been hiding?" And you know what? You're gonna want to know more about Corey Drums when we're done, and that's a bet. Now, God gives you the tree. But if you want to start a fire, you got to chop it down. You got to you got to light a match, and you got to work to make that fire go. So he's got the talent. I believe that he can make it happen, and we're here to help him. The 24/7 grind is here to help him, 
And if you want to know more, you can always check them at www.8247grind.tv. Hoffa at your boy. Hoffa at your boy. And we'll be back after these messages. We're going to pay some bills. We got to pay the bills. You want to pay some bills? We're paying the bills. We like to pay the bills. All right. So when we come back, we're going right to Corey Drums on the stage, knocking you dead. Salute. Peace. What's up, man? That was fire. One, two, one, two. It's your boy, Corey Drums, the original Ike boy. And right now, you watching 247grind.tv. Yes, sir. Hop at your boy. Hop Salud. Drums. Hey, yo. Shark skin, Gabonese suits, suits, and flare denims. Uh -huh. British walkers poison his darts with snake venom. What else? Spoke out caddies, black dice, and soul brothers. And then, Righteous sisters, Afro Sheen, and, and number runners. runners. Uptown, Saturday nights before, before fever. fever. Mac stories, Dolomite pimps, and black Caesars. Uh -huh. Velvet picture frame with the image of black Jesus. Aftermath for Huey and, and all, all of our slain leaders. leaders. Gas prices rise, Vietnam it just ended. Nixon court lies, G4 suspend sentence. Crooked NYPD. French connection. Frank Lucas and Nicky Barnes was both snitching. John Moran murdered by Ayatollah Khomeini. And James Evans died. What's happening on the TV? We started moving up till they gave us George and Wheezy. From Archie Bunker races to Roots trying to teach me. Chesterfields, Mock Neck, Bees, and Gold Daggers. Savage Skulls, Nomad Crowns, and Black Stallions. Jersey City, Newark, Detroit, the Watts Riots. The South Central, Tookie and Raymond with you defiant. Chicago fights, slow CDs, and four corners. Our cities left the room. When the Panthers was trying to warn us Cooley High, Soul Train Line, and Black Power Disco Ball, Platform Shoes, and Peace Flowers Superfly, Huggy, Jim Brown, the first hammer Cool Skin, Black Exploitation was on camera Salamander, Blue Playboys, with all Sweaters Butterfly, Collars, up Buckles, that whole Letters Cleopatra, Jones, Pam, Grier, the Fly Ladies The Sugar Hill, 79, and then the 80s That's what it was like growing up in the 70s, you yeah. I'm born 1970. I, boy. I was a baby at the time. Word. I remember a lot. Yeah. That's what's molding me. Made me who I am. Yeah. Drums. You already know. I, boy. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep this moving. I'm going to keep taking y'all on a journey with me. Remember the name, the original Ike Boy, Corey Drums. Yes, sir. I represent the Ike Boys, Hollis, Queens, New York. Yeah. Ike. Yeah. It's, it's bigger than me. Yeah. It's bigger than me. Drums. Drums. You heard me? You got to talk to him real quick. Real talk. Where we from, man? Let him know. Check it out, look. There's a whole lot of dudes out there that talk that Ain't got a leg to stand on, how could they walk that? I make that move like Shalimar did back When Grand had groove and we bounce to the fat back Corley has a brain pine tell for them fat cats 40 wasn't big, that's the place where they trapped at With Grandmaster Vic and the wick with a spin back Queens was the shit, that's the place where I lived at The avenue was war between Hollis and Southside Hide and seek the law, that's how we played outside I ain't proud of it, but it's something I lived through Cotter was still a man when I first got into music, that's what saved me. That's what I give you. I turn and crack the rap, so that's what I give you. And hustle like I'm still on the corner with capsules. With no exaggeration, I'm just giving you facts. Was my life. This is my life, and a whole lot of others that lived it. I dedicate to those that did it. It's bigger than me. It's bigger than you. It's bigger than me. It's bigger than you. It's my life. I dedicate to those that did it. It's bigger than me. It's bigger than you. It's bigger than me. It's bigger than you. See, when Dinkins was the mayor, all that money was good, man. A lot of millionaires was coming out of the hood, damn. Reagan was the president.
president controlling the arms race. Tony Montana wasn't only on Scarface. LL needed a beat and got it from Def Jam. But rap was war to words, not killing the next man. I met a lot of dudes face to face when I came up. Biggie pop, rule, they all became famous. That's when all this music shit started to come dangerous. Cause rappers wasn't rappers no more, they was gangsters. I did it for myself, though at times I fell down. If I didn't do it for myself, then who gon' help now? Music is what saved me, that's what I give you. I turn from crack to rap, so that's what I give you. And hustle like I'm still on the corner with capsules. With no exaggeration, I'm just giving you factuals. My life. This is my life and a whole lot of others that lived it. I dedicate to those that did it. It's bigger than me, it's bigger than you. It's bigger than me, it's bigger than you. It's my life. I dedicate to those that did it. It's bigger than me, it's bigger than you. It's bigger than me, it's bigger than you. Shout out to the day of Karay. Ike Boy Sloop. Snipe Rizzo. 24 7 Grind. Talking true. Shout out to my crew, you know. Ike Boy's in the building. 24 7 Grind. Frankie Bones. You heard me. DJ Bilal. Yeah. 824 7 Grind. That's how we going, net. man. Forever. It's Ike Boy. Salute. Unbelievable! Crazy. Was that amazing? Good job, guys. Oh my God, Corey yes. Jones just killed it. Okay. I he mean, has something to prove. He really does. He represented for them. And I like that old school flavor. The '70s babies joint is definitely fire. Bigger I than can't me. Relate, you know, yeah, yeah. I'd sit yeah. in the cradle still. <laughs> me too. Me too. <laughs> And then bigger, bigger than me was hot too. I mean, you know, the, the guy's got a tremendous amount of talent. That's what this show is about: is getting that, uh, you know, that platform out there so that people can really learn about these these independent artists and hear new music. Because I'm sick of the same seven songs an hour. It's getting old. It is getting old, right? So, you know, all of the people that we're working together with. I mean, you can check us out at www. A twenty four seven grind tv. We're on and the social networks too, so you can find us on Facebook and Twitter as well. We're going to be all over the place. That's it. We're coming for you. And uh, special love to Real Time Studios for making this all possible. Big shout out. Yep, that's right. My man Sean Davis behind the camera. Over here. I mean, this is how we do it every time. Yes, we yes, got we Night Wolf. We're on our Night grind, Wolf on the set. Looking professional right now. <laughs> looking better than your show. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and last but not least, special shout out. Rich and famous. Rich and famous. Crazy, we see you. Crazy, we see you, brother. You're on your move. I still want that snap back. I want like two. Like three, maybe. We'll be back next Sunday. And we loved Sunday. having you. It was comfortable. Make some room on that couch next time. I was a little, a little, I was a little crouched up on the arm right there. It wasn't really comfortable. But we're coming back to your living room next week. Peace. Peace. Ah, cha cha! Yo, I'll be the flirtatious one. What you doing? Tuning in 247grind.tv. I'll let you get fun. Check the credentials. He, 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 he.